Hi everybody, um, today, as you can probably have guessed, um, I'm going to show you how to uh, join together. So, either sew, slip stitch, or, um, well, slip, uh, sew with a needle or crochet. Um, I've decided I'm going to crochet together, um, well, the first half of it anyway the second part of it I'll uh, decide later on um, so as you can see I've already done the first line and um, I usually try and join in a line sometimes I'll do it other ways depending on the actual project itself but on this one I've decided to do um, it in lines because on the back, there won't be much of a seat. There will be a little bit of a thing on the back, as you can see. Sorry about all my tails. Um, but there isn't much of a definition on the back. Um, which is quite good because it will lay more flat when you lay it down. Or however you end up using it. Um, so what I'll do is, I'll show you how to do one line that way and I'll show you how to do it that way as well um, and then as you can see I haven't really got a real pattern of how I'm doing thing, doing it I'm just placing the uh, squares anywhere really Um, and this is where you can start trying fit. This is where you can try and figure out where to put your squares and how many then how many squares you need and how many squares you don't. Um, uh, so I know that that's nine squares here that I've got. I'll just zoom out. Oh, I can't see that. Um, that I've got. Uh, so I know that that between there, this side and this side, it is about 12 and a half inches. Um, now, depending on how big you want it, you can put more squares around if you want, which will then require you to put to make more. Uh, I know I've got six more squares to put out uh, and that's not going to make enough around this side, the top, bottom and this side of the this, this square. So what I have decided is to put three at the bottom, three at the top. So it will be three by five squares which then in turn will make it bigger at the top and bottom and then I'm going to put a pre-border on after that and then I'm going to start then adding these squares around the edge once I get to that pre-border edge I am then going to have to um probably change the edge around this one maybe put another border on it to make it a bit bigger to have more stitches around so this is where I said don't worry about the amount of stitches around your squares because we might end up having to put another border on it to add more squares uh, to add more stitches to then join um, so I'll show you how to uh, <laughs> do this way and then I'll show you how to do it that way. Right, so what we need to do just move that down a little bit is get the three squares that you're actually planning to join to the first three or the in my case the second one. Um, and what we're going to do is put um, face to face to each other so they'll, they'll have like me if you've got them like me 
the back side facing the table or whatever surface you're using you the one you're joining them with the front facing the front of that one so you're going to be putting the seam on the back like so uh, which way I'm working at <laughs> And then what we'll do is get the yarn that you're using. What I try and do if I'm joining yarn, um, I try and use the same colour as what colour I've used on the edge. Um, unless you wanted a, a bit of a, because as you can see, You can actually see where I have slip stitched. You can see the yarn um, through it. Um, I don't know if you can see that very well, but you can actually see the yarn um, through it. So that's why I tend to try and use the same colour as what I've used on the border, on the outside. Um, if not, it doesn't matter too much. You just you'll probably be able to see. And the other thing is, before I get to starting with it, is I've, as you can see, I've got a bit of a ridge here along the um, squares to just, just to define the actual squares themselves. And then that's just going through the one of the loops, not two of the loops. But I'll explain that in a minute. So anyway, I had that there. Right. So, just put them to, to one side of us. What I now need to do, and what we need to do, is you need to find the second second uh, stitch and find the back loop of it on the uh, in the um, corner space. And find the same corresponding stitch on the other square and find the back loop. Now what I mean by the back loop is, if you can see, there's two loops. The f this one, first one, is the front loop and the second one's the back loop. So in this one we only need the back loop. So you should have two loops, not four loops on your hook, plus your slip stitch. So... What I should have done actually really is put them two loops on and then my slip stitch on. Like so. And then slip stitch that into place like so. And then all we're gonna be doing is picking up the back loop of both this um stitches on the same square. Make sure they line up, because otherwise it'll be a bit wonky. And take your time, and then all we're doing, so once you've got your two loops on, you yarn over, pull that through, and slip stitch. And that's all we're doing. So grab the front back loop of both. Oh, oh, too many loops. Well, I say front loop, it's actually the back loop, but um, because we've got the square backwards, it's actually the first loop to you. And then the furthest loop away from you. Got my camera slightly further away than I normally do. Just take your time with it slowly. It'll be the same process on the on the opposite stretch, but because the squares are already joined together, it won't be as uh, difficult per se. 
they should already be in place. Uh, if you don't didn't like the um, idea of this, you can do slip. Um, oh, what do you call it? Double crocheting along them together, or you can actually sew them together. Whichever you feel comfortable with, uh, I would su suggest to do. Yeah, and then once you've got to the last stitch, like I have, what you now need to do is pick up your next to make sure you get the back loops. So you pick up the next square, making sure that's the same face in the same way as the other one, and pick up the next one on the which is already joined up, making sure, yeah, and then just carry on. It's from my own, yeah. Always the case, isn't it? Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just I'm just carrying on with the slip stitching. Um, you'll probably notice that the slip stitch that you've just done is a bit more looser than the other ones that you've done. Don't worry about it too much. Um, it will tighten up when you do um, the next ones, and don't worry too much where you've if you've got the. Um, slip stitch from the when you've joined the last round because I've just picked up one there. Um in theory you'll be hopping over that little bit. But just take your time in picking up your loops. That's all we're doing. So I'll meet back up here at the end of the row. So once you've got to the end of the row, um, I'm just going to tie off, not off like I would normally. And then that, that right? how you join, how I'm going to be joining them. As I said before, don't worry too much about your straightness of your squares. <laughs> Yeah, so don't worry too much about your straightness of your squares because once we actually have got them started to join in, um, um, we will it will straighten up a bit. Huh? That how I'm joining them up. Um, I'll show you how to. Do that way in just a few seconds. Um, I'm just going to get, yeah, just need to sort out where the squares yet. And then I'll sh once I've done that, I'll show you how to do that way. It's pretty much the same as that this way. I just I'll have two more rows to contend with, that was all. Uh, so if you want to, if you want to, uh, yeah, so meet you back in a second. Right, I've gone back and thought about it. I'm not going to be adding another two row, out row up either side, or whichever side you think about it. Um, so I'm not going to be doing three by five. I'm doing three by three. Um, mainly because when I was thinking about it, I'm actually going to add the other squares I've got of these within the other uh, round, just to give it a bit more um, diversity. And just to make it a look, yeah. So yeah. Um. So this is how. Got it folded up wrongly. So a similarly, if this so drawing from there to there is going to be very same as drawing it from there to there. Well, it would have been anyway. It's just you would have had an extra square on either side. I'm not doing it like that now. So just grab. Um, yeah, make sure you got your slip knot ready. And like on the other one, you need uh, either rows, 
you just need to find your second chain in the uh, chain space the back loop of that one and then the back loop of the second one of the other uh, other square get your slip knot on make sure you don't get the t put it there put it there um, oh gee. get your slip knot on your hook I had it on a hook a minute ago and slip stitch it through like so and chain one and then what you can do is then just carry on in a similar fashion as what we were doing getting your back loops and slip stitching and taking your time it's um, a little easier uh, once you've actually got your squares already joined together because they're in place and you're not having to reach for them and all that so like you can see it is literally the similar process of the other row uh, other ways we were, when we were first joining them together Getting up your back loop, both the ones, and then go like that. And then once you get to the um, join, all you're doing is literally hopping over that join and carrying on on the uh, next square like so. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I said don't worry too much if you lose over that point because it will tighten up because of that. Uh, and next, so that's how you just do that. So I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. Um, so once you get to the end, all you need to do is tie off like I have and then flip it out and as you can see Some of them might start to buckle a little bit, but don't worry about that too much But as you can see we've managed to straighten out Well shrunk the <laughs> squares around and it's sturdied them out Uh, so repeat that process on the other ones and that is an old, that is how you join them squares together and I'll mm, uh, and then I'll show you how I'm gonna border it. Um anyway, I'll meet up with you then. Bye.